Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you part two of part two in a game between Glade and Az here on Lost Temple. Glade, the purple Zerg player, meanwhile, Az as the red um, red Protoss player, game four in a in a best of seven. As this game continues, in comes that nice fungal growth. All those units in the back unable to do anything there. And if he's just able to chain fungal growths on these units and and, and make them not move, all the, the damage will start to rack up very, very quickly. You can already see some of those sentries um, very low on hit points, down to eight hit points there. Some of those zealots, all, however, the shields will recharge so that fungal growth is not nearly as effective as it would be against a Terran player. So those shields naturally recharging, those stalkers really didn't take any much that much damage. Those zealots did take some damage, however, and now we see as getting those colossi. So now as getting those colossi will be able to move out and getting and shooting down those overlords and now taking down a couple of those creep tumors as well. A little surprised that we do not have an observer out. And now we finally see as trying to take down these destructible rocks. These destructible rocks will get taken down very quickly by the sheer army size of Az. Az sitting at a 6,000 mineral army compared to Glade's um, 2,000. However, taking a look at the larva count, we should see Glade sitting on a lot of larva. So uh, as long as Glade has the larva and the um, economy, he will be able to... Wow, that is a ton of larva. Um, yeah, all of these larva... Yeah, five. Yeah, you can you can just take a look. Thirty six larva at this stage in the game, and he also is sitting on three thousand minerals. So even if it's just a, a sheer replacement of his army, he can just throw his whole entire units at this group of at this group here, lose one for one, and then instantaneously macro back up very quickly. As does not have that that production capability, and now Infestor is coming in with that fungal growth. In comes some force fields. Ultra is just barreling down on those force fields. Infested Terrans now coming in, and now this army five thousand. 300 versus 4,500 as Infestor's Roach is trying to surround here. Infested Terrans making it very difficult for any of these units to move. Guardian Shield. Now we see an Ultralis trying to move up onto that, or these Colossi need to move up onto that high ground. However, as soon as they move up onto that high ground, that Zelnaga Watchtower can be used in order to gain sight onto them. So these Colossi just trying to deal more and more damage here, able to get a lot of damage across these units and still doing a great job. So all of these Colossi now just dishing out that damage. However, Ultralis and, and Roach is now taking down this Nexus over here. Will these Colossi be able to get that extended thermal lance range? No. So now trying to get more and more Zergling kills. Roach is now making their way towards this one Zelnaga Watchtower. Infested Terrans now dealing damage towards these Colossi as well. Colossi trying to move away from those Infested Terrans. Ultralis taking damage as well as they're just trying to use that high ground to their advantage. We now see these Infested Terrans trying to get in position. However, we'll only be able to deal damage towards the shields and very nicely done. However, the Ultralis now coming into the straight into the base, getting choked up here. Infested Terrans now spawning up as well. One, col two Colossi onto that high ground. This Colossus needs to back up. There we go. Able to just, um, just fight in a very, very defensive posture. These Colossi, however, not joining in on this fight. No extended thermal lance range research there. It is being researched finally. However, it may be too little, too late as Ultralis continues to just charge head, head on into this base here. Not quite sure why Az is not using those Colossi. Those Colossi need to get in position there as these Ultralis now start to chomp away at the at the buildings. If they're able to chomp away and destroy those buildings, it will be enough for these Ultralis to simply push through. And now Az wasting energy on on those um guard, or on those force fields as force fields are just simply destroyed by Ultralis walking through them. So now we see some more of these Ultralis trying to get up this ramp. However, unable to get through this very very narrow choke point here. We do do still see. Colossi in the center of the map army wise taking a look at the unit combination we see six Colossi versus six Ultralis and now Glade unable to push through here production wise though we now see even more Ultralis still being trained and now sitting on 2,000 minerals and 400 gas so will these infested Terrans be able to do anything those Colossi finally making their way back into that base so an army of Colossi with um, uh, with probes now trying to make their way across the field the main mineral patch for as has been mined out so he does not have any additional places to mine now going to start to do some long distance mining and needs to set up this expansion up in a hurry we now see colossi and zealots fighting here we do see some ultralis and infestors here as well Will it be enough? We do not have burrow research, so these units will not be able to burrow. Taking a look once again at the larva count across all of these buildings, we have 17 hatch, 17 larva across all of these units, and now um, Ultra or Colossi just trying to rack up more and more kills. Will it be enough? Will we get a fungal growth onto those Colossi? Yes, we do. And those Ultralis able to start chomping away at them, getting that splash damage. Infested Terrans will be able to start shooting up onto that high ground in just a second. No, unable to, as they are not activating that Zelnaga Watchtower. Ultralis now trying to make their way. No, sorry, 
Infested Terrans from trying to make their way over here. However, Zergling is now simply going to swarm into the base of Az. And Az now in trouble needs to warp in some Zealots here. Only has level 1-1 one, one upgrade against these fully upgraded Zerglings. And Az says GG. So, wow. First of all, I just realized that the... Um, the Vista thing just popped away, so I'm going to put that back up there. Um, yeah, game um, game four, or this best of seven series, Glade taking all four games and defeating as 4-0. Probably the best games to watch were on were game one and game four, where um, I believe as had a lot of opportunities to try to take this game. And however, he did not get the extended thermal lance research upgrade early enough. Also, he did not change his tech into immortals after he saw the number of Ultralists that were coming into play. I think if he had gotten Immortals, those Immortals would have been able to deal damage very easily to those Ultralists. And those Immortals would have been dealing 50 or what, 49 damage per attack against these Ultralists, even though these Ultralists have 6 armor. If you take a look at a comparison, these Colossi are only able to deal 22 damage because it is a 2 attack. So yeah, very nicely done by excuse me, done by Glade. Glade simply containing the Protoss player within his base and didn't even train one Mutalus. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this best of seven series between Az and Glade and the final game taking place here on Lost Temple.